everyone. I hope you are doing well and your Friday is going down well. Um, as we had agreed in our previous poster, we are going to do a live session today. So I believe it's 1 p.m. already. Um, keep on inviting your friends, alert your friends that we are now live as we wait for more people to join before we can uh, officially start off the session meanwhile you may send us a hi and just mention where you're watching me from as we wait for more people to join i think i'll just put some um background music as we wait for more people to come on board Let's keep inviting, tag your friends. Meanwhile, you can send us a hi and say where we are. you are watching us from. Remember today it's going to be a very, very interesting topic and you are going to learn a lot and be, and be transformed. So keep on inviting and give us like um, at least three minutes so that we can get to be all here and start the session. As, as the Lord leads us. Keep on coming in guys, keep on tagging your friends, keep on alerting everyone that you know they need some financial education as today we are going to learn more on investing. So if you have a friend or if you know of someone who is in the group and they've been um, asking on how to go about investing and all that, then this is the best um, time you can tag them and let them learn together with you. Remember we say this year we are taking up knowledge. As the word of God says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So acquire knowledge, acquire wisdom, then put it into action and let God bless. It. So um, I think we are almost uh, about to start. Yeah, so um, for the interest of time, we shall start right away. Again, I want to welcome all of you um, in this live session and want to thank you for taking your time and joining me in this uh, live broadcast. I really appreciate your presence and um and thank you so much and to the admins uh, Mr. Kelo and Mr. Diane I really want to say thank you for such a great uh, opportunity and definitely to our very able moderators a very big thank you for all the work you do to ensure the flow of the group and the vision is being accomplished so before we start I think we can just um, say a short prayer then we can dive in right away so wherever you're watching me from, close your eyes and bow down your head so we can pray. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity and we glorify your name for granting us another chance to learn on your kingdom principles so that we can become better financial stewards. Father, as I talk to your people, as I share with them the principles, may you send your Holy Spirit to be my utterance and may this information be transformative to them and may it bring 
changes in their financial lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray, trusting and believing. Amen. So, um, I am so happy to see each of you. As I said, you can start by sending us a hi from wherever and say where you are watching me from. And definitely the most important thing is tag your friends. Be that good friend. Tag other friends that you believe they are going to um, benefit from watching today's live session. Remember the topic is investing for beginners the most profitable investments you can do as a beginner. This doesn't mean that if you are not starting out on investing, this is not your session, it is, because um, you know, you cannot be knowing everything. Maybe what you know is, uh, what you know is not included here, so um, it's good to get knowledge, it's good to get information, and of course it's good to learn from others. So um, we shall start right away. Um, I remember when we did last week, our last session, we discussed on the bad money habits that we have and how we can change them and, you know, become better in our financial habits. And one thing that stood out was that we need to learn how to earn money then after we earn we learn how to save then after saving you need to learn how to invest so um a lot of you were like yeah i'm now good at saving then what next after i save now today we are going to say to discuss on after you have saved what next that is investing once you've saved money maybe for three months maybe for one month you need to know what to do with it and um, of course it's investing a lot of people have made a lot of mistakes when it comes to investing we find that somebody has done so well when it comes to um, earning money they've created multiple streams of income they've started that business they have they have created like a really good system of earning money They've gone to the next stage, they have tried their best, they've become so disciplined, they've saved money, but they they end up failing when it comes to investing. They find somebody has saved a lot of money, then they lose this money by making the wrong investment choice. It's, it's terrible. You can't imagine you're saving for six months, then that money you put in a wrong investments and it in a, you put the money in a wrong investment and it disappears or it crashes. It, it is really heartbreaking. And to not, not tonight, today we are going to discuss on investing. What, what do you need as a beginner? When you start to invest, what are the things you need? What are the tools you should consider investing first that are more profitable that you have some form of um guarantee that you're going to get returns so yeah i can see um eunice nirangu you joined us thank you so much jay erico you are following asante sana kivaya vincent you are watching thank you for joining us mary dinda thank you so much for joining us uh, just to remind us of the uh, group rules or group policy, ensure you put your comments in English because we have diverse nationalities in the groups. In the group, sorry. So if you want to comment on something, if you want to ask a question, write it in English so that everybody can get to understand what you are asking. And of course, I will be answering everything in English. Keep on inviting your friends, keep on um, tagging as many people as possible. As I, as I always say, be that great friend. If you want your friends to be letting you know about opportunities, start right now by tagging that person in this live session. So uh, I think I can give us a very short story. <laughs> um, there is this story that we all had when we were growing up. Most of us most probably heard about it. Uh, there was this hyena 
it was going in a straight line but as it was going it started smelling some good food or as the smell of food from the east then it diverted remember it was going in a straight line the hyena but when it started smelling some nice aroma from the east it deviated and started going east but while this hyena was deviating to go to the east he again smelled a very nice aroma from the west then he deviated and went and started walking towards the west while he was walking towards the west again he felt the a better aroma smelling from the east so you can imagine the hyena was like going apart and he forgot that he was going in a straight line what happened at the end he, the hyena tore apart it tore apart because it was you know it kept on going east west east west because he felt the nice aroma he did not have focus and that is what happens to most of us when it comes to investing we want to invest in things that gives us high returns and which is a good it is a good mindset to have but if you are not disciplined and focused you will keep on falling on both sides when you hear somebody coming up with you know this is something that is new this is a very good investment go for it you go for it you again you see somebody on facebook saying this is a good investment go for it you run there at the end of the day you lose your focus remember you you, you are going in a straight line but since you kept on you know hearing this investment has a high return you rush there you hear this investment has a high return you rush there at the end of the day you find that you've lost everything including all the money that you could be having for investing so remember that story of hyena when we are starting out this the hyena ended up losing everything he didn't get get to the place where the nice aroma was coming from and worst of it all his body tore apart because he kept on you know going left going uh, sorry going left right left right instead of going straight to where he was going so um so uh to start off i believe with that story we have been able to paint a picture of what happens to most people when they start to invest we are so uh we are a generation that we really want everything asap asap we are a microwave generation we want things done now now and th and immediately but when it comes to investing it doesn't happen like that investing take uh investing is a crock pot it requires you to be disciplined it requires you to be focused and most of all it requires you to have knowledge you can't tell me that uh you want to invest and you want to invest today and tomorrow you want to see returns that is not how investing works and unfortunately that is not how wealth accumulation works we have seen a lot of people on social media coming to advertise to us a lot of things and tell you you'll get a very huge amount tomorrow just give me this little amount i'm going to invest for you and it doesn't work like that when it comes to investing the most important thing is you need to have discipline you need to have focus and you need to have um patience so i believe now we are good to go so uh what is investing let's start by you know just highlighting what is investing for that person who has never heard about it or maybe you have heard about it but you really don't know about it investing is simply a process where you put your money in a certain instrument or tool with the expectation that it is going to give you some returns or some profit so for example if today i decide to put money in um if today i decide to put money in a business i expect that business to give me some profit 
So what am I simply doing? I'm investing in that business. If I'm going to put money in a certain like real estate, I'm expecting to earn something from this real estate. So what is that I'm doing? I am investing. So investing is the act of putting your money in a certain tool or, or instrument with the expectation that it is going to give you some returns after some time. What are the fundamentals of investing? The fundamentals of investing is number one, patience. Number two, discipline. Number three is time. When it comes to investing, these three things are very, very important. You need to have discipline. Remember, um, I'll give us another example. When you have, I believe we've all reared some poultry or chicken in our households. And when a female hen wants to hatch, you put it in, uh, you put it on top of the eggs and it has to stay there, I think, for 21 days or less. The, this one I'm talking about, the, um, the natural chicken, not the broilers one. Now, when you put it uh, on the eggs, you don't keep on like going to remove every every second to see if the the eggs have hatched. No, you have to give it some time. You have to ensure that discipline. Even the hen itself knows that once I'm I'm lying on these eggs, I need to be here for quite some time. So you won't see it going outside every two minutes. No, it takes time until. It, it will go outside for maybe once in a day or twice in a day, but it keeps on, you know, coming to those eggs to just ensure it gives the, norm, uh, the needed temperature for the eggs to hatch. And that is what happens when it comes to investing. You need to be disciplined. You don't invest now. You put money, for example, you put money in a stock market. Maybe you decide to buy a certain share today. Then you sell it tomorrow and expect to make profit no it doesn't work like that you need to be disciplined and discipline means you do something continuously every month every now and then the second fundamental uh, of investing is um i've said number one is discipline number two is uh time investing needs time you need time to research you need time to understand re to get information and knowledge and understand it and process it and of course once you have done all that you still need to give it some time for it to grow remember if you plant your maize seed today you have to wait for it maybe in seven days for you to see there uh, the maize germinating from the ground it's the same with investing when you put your money somewhere you need to give it time and let it grow and the third fundamental of investing is patience. Patience is very important. We are a community of believers and we have, we have the upper hand. If you do not have patience, go in your prayer closet and ask the Holy Spirit to grant you this fruit. God is very generous with us. One of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is patience. So if you feel you are one of those people who is not patient, th there is a solution for you. Go back to your prayer closet and ask the Holy Spirit to grant you this, um, to grant you this fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is patience. Most of us, we have been patient with other things. We are so patient with maybe other people. We are so patient with our jobs. We are so patient with our families. We are so patient with our friends. But when it comes to money and investing, we are not patient at all. So it is a very, very fundamental thing you need to have when you start investing. Learn to have patience. Be patient. Every action you take in the investment world, some actions could be so risky that all you need to have is be patient with it. So patience is one of the fundamental Time is another one, and of course, discipline is one. So we'll go right away on what kind of investment do you need to do 
as a person that you will get um and you are going to get some returns from it um i think i'll take a break ngereso kelvin you are here with us welcome nelias gititi welcome to the blog to the sorry to the live session kelvin tom welcome you're saying you're listening keep on listening and take your notes to those that um i would encourage us get a notebook get a pen and paper if you have a tablet or if you have um a sticky note in your gadget open it now because we are going to write on the investment um the best investments you can do that are going to give you some returns caroline jockey sorry caroline ego Caroline Igoki, welcome uh, to, to today's live session. So uh, Sharon Witty, welcome and thank you so much for tuning in. Keep on inviting others, keep on sharing this live broadcast as we go to our second se section. So the first way you can invest in that will give you a sure bet is invest in yourself that is the first investment tool you can do and you will be guaranteed of profiting from it now um you know uh, when it comes to investing to yourself i had written some things here instead of um you staying here you know worrying how can i invest what can i do what can i do where can i put money sit down and invest in yourself don't be like the hyena we had in the at the beginning you remember the hy the hyena was going in a straight line it was walking in a straight line maybe it was going to the city but every time the hyena smelled some good aroma from the left it's it diverted and what was started going to the left every time it it smelled some good aroma in the to, in from the right side it diverted and went to the right side at the end of the day this hyena failed to arrive to its destination and actually it tore apart so it ended up dying and that is what happens with most of us we want to invest in everything else but we don't want to invest in ourselves Trust me, the best investment you can do, you can do to yourself, is investing in yourself. Stop worrying on what tool or on what uh, instrument should you put to gain more money. Start by investing in yourself. Take six months and say like, in this six months, I'm investing in me. That is part of self-love, actually. We've learned a lot about self-love. We've listened to a lot of people talking about self-love. I don't know, but most of the people don't tell you to invest in yourself. And the thing is, when you invest in yourself, there are benefits that come with it. One of the benefits is that when you invest in yourself, number one, you are able to increase your income. Now, before I go to the benefits, let me tell us, let me just share with us how we can invest in ourselves. So, um, you are there now, you've said, okay, I'm going to invest in myself. What will I do? Or how can I do this? The first thing you can do in investing in yourself, there are various ways you can invest in yourself. Um, the first thing is to acquire knowledge. Do self-education. Most of us here, we really want to blame our, our parents, we want to blame our families. Like, they didn't take me to school, they didn't pay for my school fees, I dropped out because they, 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 they... Now it's time to cut off that story. Yes, maybe they didn't pay your school fees. Yes, you had to drop out of school. Yes, this and this happened, but what are you doing? Start self-education buy books in my previous live i said instead of going to buy a full chicken for one person why don't you sacrifice at least once in a month decide 
I'm going to study on, let's say I'm going to study on public speaking. So I'm going to buy books on, on public speaking. Let's remove this mentality that because I'm, I come from a humble background, that is why I am not doing, no, 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 no. Trust me, it's time we remove that mindset of blaming others. And one way is by investing in yourself. Get to acquire skills, get knowledge. Buy that book, read. If you're not a fan of reading book books, get podcasts, listen to them. If you're not a fan of listening to podcasts, I know you can, some people here, you can watch a series for 24 straight hours. Then, why can't you uh, spare at least two hours and watch a video of a certain book? They are all over the internet. There is YouTube. There are other uh, platforms you can get to watch a book, somebody describing it or talking about it. Get knowledge. That is the best, one of the best investments you can do to yourself. Yes, your parents didn't take you to school, or maybe you had to drop out for some reasons, but that is not a reason why you shouldn't invest in yourself. So invest in yourself by acquiring knowledge. Improve your skills. Trust me, there are high income skills that if you have, you will increase your income. And one of the skills, like right now, video editing is a skill that is selling hot off because a lot of people are communicating via video a lot of companies are communicating using video so if you let's say if you invested in yourself by taking that video class or by improving your video editing skills you could be charging people to edit their videos right so acquire skills look at the market what is needed think of it in the next three years because like with this pandemic trust me a lot of things will be cut off and others will come in so look at the skills that people will want look at the things that these there are skills you can acquire that are going to increase your income and if when you do that you are investing in yourself some of you you are at home Yes, there is quarantine, but instead of, you know, sleeping in your, in your bed for 24 hours just because the government has announced that you need to stay home, why don't you take that time to acquire a skill? Maybe you are so good in um, cooking. Why don't you sharpen your cooking skills? Why don't you start writing recipes and sell, sell it as an e-book? Why don't you, if you are good with gardening or if you are good with farming, why don't you use your balcony to, you know, plant some stuff and, you know, teach people how to do it? There are people who really would love to know how to farm in their small space. Improve your skills. Acquire skills. When you acquire a skill, when you attend a conference to acquire a skill, trust me, it's not a waste. You are investing in yourself. And you can always bank on any investment you do on yourself. Why? Because if I'm, I invest in myself, even if I lose everything right now, I go back to zero. I still have me. Right? With the help of God, I will start again. See it like this. When you went to school, maybe after school a lot happened to you. But nobody can take away the knowledge you got from the school. Nobody can open your mind and say, now that I'm angry with you, now that you've disappointed me, I'm taking back the knowledge I gave you. No. They might take all the material things, but they can never take the knowledge. They can never take the skill you acquired. Right? So invest in yourself. Trust me. I would spend a whole 24 hours just encouraging us to invest in ourselves. Make yourself valuable. Make us invest in yourself to such a point that you charge your skills. You charge your presence. Some of you, you are so good at bringing people together. 
why don't you sharpen that skill and use it as an asset just to mention having an audience is an asset so if you are good at bringing people together that is a skill you have you can put it into use to people who want to host events you can tell them that i can bring this amount of people and you need to pay me for that and they will do that because that is a skill you have acquired another way you can invest in yourself as i said number one read books acquire knowledge you can read books you can listen to podcasts you can listen to live sessions like this one you can uh, you can uh, watch videos on youtube so that you get to um invest in yourself another way is learn to attend conferences why you may ask why would i attend a conference right now a lot of people are doing virtual conferences which you can attend at the comfort of wherever you are the benefit of attending conferences or events is that apart from networking you get to learn from other people you get to learn how things are done for example if you come from the village you are used to if if you are let's say if your local church has an event they just used to you know all of you coming together in a very confused way and doing that thing happen but if you get the chance to be exposed and maybe attend another event in a very um developed platform or environment you can maybe see that how they host their events there is there is order so you will get that skill and bring back to your village right so when your local church is arranging a certain event you will step in and tell them i'm going to handle this you see that way you get to learn from other people so attend those virtual um, seminars attend those virtual conferences if you are able to attend to them do your best attend them because that way you're getting to learn more it's just not about acquire, uh, acquiring skills you also need to acquire a uh, certain um characters remember when you let's say if you attend a certain conference there are conferences that describe how people should um uh, dress for to attend so you see if you go to that place you learn how to dress for such an occasion whenever another occasion comes now you know how to present yourself now you know how to you know you can look to you improve yourself so that is the first investment you can do invest in yourself and focus on investing on things that are beneficial some of us we we in the name of investing in ourselves we do very crazy things that are not godly so don't go you know taking all content all social media content in the name of investing in yourself be very careful on what you put inside you the same way we are very careful on what we eat be be careful on what you feed your mind remember not every information not every skill not every um every book is worth consuming as you invest in yourself have a goal because investing in yourself increases your income trust me most of you the income you you would uh, get in your eight in your 20 when you are 20 year old is not the same income you can get now if you've invested in yourself the income you get when you have a simple certificate is not the same income you'll get when you have a degree the income you get when you have a certain skill set is not the same income you'll get when you have increased your skill sets so when you invest in yourself you're increasing your chances of uh, raising your income you're increasing your chances of creating multiple streams of income for example if i invest in my public speaking right now how will i increase my income maybe i'm employed and where i'm employed there's no platform for me to do public speaking i will start i will start doing public speaking as my side business so every time there is an event somebody will invite me and they will pay me for that maybe it's just for 2 hours maybe it's just for 1 hour and i'll get 
more money from it so invest in yourself invest in yourself at all costs be jealous with yourself you know love yourself more and loving yourself more means increasing your value and increasing your value means investing in you um the second sorry the second way or the second thing you need to invest in is learn uh sorry invest in uh what did i write here just a second yeah invest in long-term assets now you may be asking what are what are long-term assets long-term assets mean that um you are investing in things like real estate stocks and stocks and businesses so when you invest in these three things you you are not really guaranteed of raising an income but you are betting on it now a lot of us we have been um most of us we have been affected by this real estate thing and we have been duped to invest in um in properties that it would take maybe 30 years for them to really be marketable or to really increase in value but the thing is after you've invested in yourself you now need to come to the next section which is now investing in tools with a long-term perspective so real estate comes in real estate is very good but you need to be very very keen on the type of real estate you're investing in remember real estate is not just land buying a hotel is real estate buying that house is real estate buying a gold mine is real estate um like real estate is not just buying idle land having rentals is real estate doing an airbnb is real estate so learn to invest in real estate this is because when you invest in real estate don't look at it in terms of just reselling look at it in terms of giving you the chance to leverage on debt trust me if you walk into a bank let's say you have uh you've purchased a very very prime area or a very prime real estate uh, tool if you walk into a bank and ask them for a loan they usually ask you what real estate do you have as compared to that person who walks into a real into a bank and uh, and says that they want a they want a loan but all they have is just a log book you see now the bank is the bank will give the person with real estate more attention as compared to a person who has um who comes in with a log book or a business because if they do an evaluation of the real estate assets they will um they will see that the place might increase in value so in case you are not able to repay the debt they are going to get their money back so use real estate as a form of leveraging for your future don't just invest in i know there are a lot of real estate companies that are um, that have really messed us up by selling properties that are beyond they are in a very far place a place that cannot you cannot even use that title to to get anything no when it comes to real estate be very careful when it comes to location and amenities and how the place is growing those are the things that matters in real estate you cannot tell me you have an airbnb in the middle of a desert or in the middle of a forest like i have to drive 50 kilometers to get to your airbnb i have to drive 90 kilometers to to get to your um to the vacation house you have that is not an investment that is something else so when it comes to um if you want to invest in things that will be, give you profit in the long term 
then real estate is one of them and the stocks market is another one now um <clears throat> stock market when it comes to stock market please 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 don't get in it with the idea that your money will grow tomorrow investing in stock market needs you to be a long-term investor this is because it takes a lot of time for a market for an economy to be stable for you to really earn from it example if you invested in stock market in 2008 because that is when there was the recession in 2017 you were able to earn something from it why because between 2008 and 2017 the the economy had taken had grown back from recession and it had like really become stable so that means the stocks of various companies had gone high in value and another time to invest in stock markets is like right now because there is a lot of uh, global recession so if you want to invest in any stock this is not just in africa even out of africa globally if you want to invest in any stock with a long-term perspective of at least five seven even 20 years do that most of the most rich people we know in the world they invested in these three things number one they invested they invest in real estate and the, and as i said real estate you need to be keen on location amenities and um, the value things that will increase its value then they invest in stocks then they invest in business now why am i putting business as an investment and uh, why am i putting it last because in when it comes to investing in business business is a risky venture and it can flop or it can go high example people who invested in um for example if you invested in a tour, tourism a travel and tourism company in the last six months it has been really hard if you had invested in um hospitality the last six months due to the pandemic it has really become hard and you know things have flopped but if you look at it with the perspective of what kind of business am i investing in for the next five years look at a business like that don't just invest in a business that in the next five years it will not be there in the next 10, 10 years it will not be um, relevant invest in businesses that you know they are going to grow but in between put the allowance that it can flop okay because for example right now uber is most likely uh, going to be uh, it's going to get out of the market why because the uber company is now trying to see if it can cut off the middleman you remember the way you are taking your car to uber it might cut it off and take ownership of it all so instead of you bringing a car to uber they'll have their own cars they'll have their own drivers just because the market is really changing so it's very important for you to know what kind of business are you investing in what um what what, what how long will this business be relevant in the marketplace then um the other thing that you need to invest in is um, security papers or yeah security papers what the, what do i mean by security papers security papers are things like government bonds commercial papers uh, corporate bonds this ones you are guaranteed that you will get a return trust me if you invest in a government bond there is a specific return they give you that you know that after in um in 10 years time this is the money i'll be able to get the same with um commercial papers so when you invest in such kind of um tools you are able to get some money 
for government papers or for security papers it's only it's only like one percent it could happen that things flops and this can only happen when it comes to if the country goes bankrupt so for example you bought your you bought a government paper for a certain country and this government paper was uh, the time period was 10 years or 15 years and in the 15 years unfortunately the country is declared bankrupt which usually happens like one percent it's not like common now in case it happens the country is declared bankrupt then chances are high the security papers might not be that worthy or you might not be able to get the returns as uh, estimated now you know most of you are asking you could be asking how can a country become bankrupt trust me it happens it happened in uh, greece and it also happened in germany some years back but it is a once in a while thing if you want to learn more on how a country can become bankrupt or all that bankruptcy thing please check out my facebook page financial wellness center i have done a lot of i have done a lot of videos on that bankruptcy and how bankruptcy works again if you have a person who likes watching videos you can check out my um youtube channel financial wellness so that i've done a lot of big videos on um bankruptcy and how bankruptcy works in case and even how to invest in government papers so the one of the best investments you can do is investing in security papers and we said examples of security papers are government bonds uh corporate bonds um commercial papers all those you have a guaranteed return now as a beginner why do i give you such options because when you start to invest you need a motivation and how will you be motivated by seeing at least some return and having the the kind of guarantee what you are doing is not risky like the risk is at least lower if you start investing with high risk assets you will get discouraged very very fast and um, you will get out of it so um, again when it comes to investing have the long-term perspective that way you will not be disappointed at all if you invest in something and you know that this one I've invested in it and I know I'm gonna give it five years you are in the right track because investing with long term is when you are able to earn or to see returns example the people we we who are who are being named as the rich people right now in the world if you look at their story they tell you i started doing this 20 years ago i invested 30 years ago so that tells you investing in a, with a long term perspective is more profitable than investing with a short term perspective does that mean that we should not invest with uh, in short term assets no it means that yes you can invest in short term assets but if you really want to see profits and enjoy them then go for the long term assets invest with the long term assets um <clears throat> what else uh, the um, the other thing that i wanted to say is that um Another thing you need to do is to develop the in, the best investing habit. Now, investing habit is very very unique. We all want things that excite us every now and then. We want things that, you know, they make us happy, they make us jump, you know, they make your adrenal, adrenaline rush. But in investing, if you are if you want to build the best investing habit it is bo bo it's boring because you keep on repeating the same thing every now and then there is nothing new you are doing you're just repeating the same thing example if i decide that in the next 10 years i'm going to invest in me 
myself and I'm going to invest in real estate and I'm also going to invest in um, stocks like shares and mutual funds now I will keep on doing that for the next 10 years I'll not change it so investing is very it's very boring it's not something that will keep on jumping up and down you know no when it comes to building and investing habits you need to focus on repeating things that means that if I'm going to invest in the stock market I will make it like my habit every month my um, every month my budget includes a certain amount of money that will go to a certain that will go to stocks a certain amount of money that will go to real estate a certain amount of money that will go to a certain business and I'll keep doing that so if somebody comes to ask me two years down the line what are you investing in same same things three years down the line what are you investing in same same things because I'm gar I'm I'm building up on my portfolio and it can be so boring honestly building your portfolio it's so boring imagine building your portfolio of real estate imagine building a portfolio of businesses imagine building your portfolio of stocks it's so boring because you do you keep on doing the same thing the same thing but that is the best investing habit stay away from people who are always you know jumping up and down when it comes to investing like today they are telling you this tomorrow they are telling you there's another one the other uh, the next week they'll tell you there's something else the other week the those are not investors no a true investor is somebody who takes a certain instrument or class of investment tools and focuses on that remember our hyena story hyena was going in a straight line he was focused to reach his destination but immediately he started jumping left right because he was smelling good aroma of something maybe it could be meat he kept on going left and right jumping to everything he lost it all and that is what happens to most people he start very well he come and tell me Sheila I've decided in the next five years I'm just going to focus on investing in real estate and uh, mutual funds and myself then within three months you hear your friend telling you I've heard about this thing that has just come up let's invest in it example quail business you know that was that was something and most people lost money in it so if you are if you do not have a solid investing habit which is being repetitive of something chances are high you will not experience any return because you'll keep on jumping left right left right not giving your money time to grow so yeah those are the things that yeah those are the things you need to invest in as a beginner or if you have already been in the investment field those are the things you need to put in mind if you want to have guaranteed returns the best of all is or the parting shot is have a long-term perspective a long-term perspective is very important don't even if if you decide to invest in yourself don't give yourself like i want to read this book today and tomorrow i want to start selling my skills i want to acquire this skill today and tomorrow i want to start making money from it it doesn't work like that it takes time it takes time you acquire a skill the, you might find that a skill you acquired five years ago you're not putting it into use right now and you're, you can now monetize it so have a long-term perspective investing is more of time it's more of long time long term perspective as i always say the rich invest in time the poor invest in money the rich people will invest in time meaning they will always invest with a long term perspective but a poor person will invest with i want money tomorrow i want to get returns immediately that is what makes a lot of people become poor now um i think we have like two minutes because it was just before one hour you can now ask your questions as post your questions 
I will be more than happy to answer you. Ask me any questions about investment. Ask me any question about uh, anything to do with the investment. This is the time you can ask your question um, and I'll be more than happy to answer you. Mili Kinywa, you have tagged somebody. Thank you so much for tagging them. Wachira Arsa, you've said good. I hope you've learned something. Marble, Marble, you saying you are listening. Thank you so much for listening to me. Sharon, I think I already read your comment. Now, if you have any question, feel free to ask. And I'll leave us with one um one sentence that you should remember all the time if you if you ever forget everything just remember this uh, this sentence money doesn't go to those who need it most money goes to those who know how to multiply it i'll say it again money does not go to those who need it most money goes to those who know how to multiply it and that was the basis of the rich become rich the poor become poorer because a poor person needs money very very much but he does not know how to multiply it a rich person doesn't really need money but he or she knows how to multiply it and you can be one of them learn how to multiply money because it is then that money will come to you and how do you multiply money by investing learn how to invest build on your best investing habits invest in yourself have a long-term perspective then trust me money will start coming to you remember money does not go to those who need it the most money goes to those that know how to multiply it as a body of christ i believe um we are now set we know how to invest we know what to invest in or on and by the grace of god we are going to become better money stewards we are going to know how to multiply money so that it keeps on coming to us instead of running away from us until then i believe um most of you are yet to write your questions uh in case you will have any questions after this live session uh, I would encourage you to send me an inbox or you can post in the comments section. I'll be going through all the comments uh, later on. So post your questions. Uh, if you want some uh, financial consultancy services, feel free to reach out. I'll be more than happy to guide you and help us become better money stewards using kingdom principles. So until then, God bless you. Keep on staying safe and most of all, keep learning how to multiply money. Thank you.